guys, today I'm doing my favorite drugstore lipsticks. I think I'm going to do like my favorite like products from the drugstore in a series kind of thing because I love so many drugstore products and I really got into drugstore products in the past few months and I found a lot of favorites that I like better than my high-end products. And that's saying a lot for me because until a few months ago I would never shop drugstore. I would get eyeliner, mascara from the drugstore, and a few other things but really it's just I would always go to Sephora and I never really just ventured into drugstore. And this summer, the past few months, that's literally most of the products I've been using have been drugstore products. And drugstores really stepping up their games. And not to mention, they're a lot more affordable than high-end products. If you've been watching me for a while, you know lip products are like my favorite. I'm so obsessed and attracted to lip products. I don't know what it is, but I just love lip products. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to start off with Revlon. Revlon is probably my favorite drugstore brand in general just because I love so many of their products. Um, I love their foundations, I love their eyeliners, they have so many great products. If I had to pick one drugstore brand with the widest range of amazing lip products, it's definitely Revlon. First I'm going to talk about their super lustrous lipsticks. These are amazing and the closest thing to MAC lipsticks that I found at the drugstore. And this one is number 6. Seven four Coral Berry and it resembles Max Vegas Vault if you're familiar with that color. It's a corally color with pink undertones and it is absolutely gorgeous. This is a cream finish. Another thing I love is that these have no scent. They don't smell like anything to me at least and they don't taste like anything. I hate lipsticks that taste or smell like plastic. It is such a turn off for me. So I love these. They are extremely pigmented and very long wearing and very comfortable on the lips. So these are definitely my favorite. Another one I like is Primrose which is from their line. I think Primrose is a matte finish. They also do amazing matte lipsticks from this line. Pretty much any color from this line you can't go wrong. But I love these so so much and they're so affordable. I believe they're around five dollars at Walmart which you definitely can't beat. So you could buy three of these for the price of let's say one MAC lipstick. Next, another thing Revlon does amazingly that I'm sure you guys have all heard of and probably all tried are the Revlon lip butters and I'm actually wearing one right now. I'm wearing this one which is Sweet Tart and these are lip butters that are pigmented and moisturizing and give you the color payoff of a lipstick. Now some are more balmy and more sheer than others but like Sweet Tart what I'm wearing right now is obviously very very pigmented because my lips are pretty dark so lipstick has to be really pigmented to show up on me and these are extremely pigmented but the thing I love is that they're also very buildable so I chose to build up this color to where it's you know shocking kind of in your face but you can also wear it a little bit more sheer if you just want a slight wash and these are so moisturizing. My other favorite would be creme brulee. This is the perfect nude and this is a nude that changes with your lip color. This looks different on everyone that I've seen wear this. It just depends on what pigment naturally your lips are. Mine are pretty dark so it gives me the most natural beautiful nude. I love using this when I don't have any makeup on and I just need to moisturize my lips or if I just want a simple carefree lip look and I don't really have to think about it. I also love strawberry shortcake which is like a bubblegum kind of light pink and it's absolutely gorgeous. And then my last lip butter favorite would have to be Tutti Fruity. This color is the most gorgeous orange coral color and it's very buildable as well. So if you're kind of scared of trying an orange lip, this is a great way to start out because you can have a little wash of the orange if you're kind of scared, but I build it up because I love, love coral orange lips. And my last favorite lip product from Revlon would have to be the Kissable Balm Stain. My favorite one is Honey. I wear this all the time. This is a great everyday color. Actually, because every day, I don't wear eyeshadow every day. Like today, I just have eyeliner on, and this is a perfect kind of go with the eyeliner. It's easy to put on, and I don't have to think about it kind of color. It's a mauve dusty rose. It looks gorgeous on anyone, and it, for me, it's a my lips but better color. And the thing also I love about these is they're so light wearing. They're definitely a lot lighter feeling on the lips than the lip butter. And on some days, like if I'm going to an event or I need to do a lot of talking, I will wear one of these because they are so light, and I don't have to worry about them fading. I don't have to worry about them rubbing off everywhere. They stay put and they leave a gorgeous stain. And my other favorite would have to be Lovesick which is the one Emma Stone is wearing in the promo ad and it is just like bam like in your face. I definitely couldn't wear this every day but on some days where I'm feeling a little bit more adventurous I would definitely wear this. This reminds me a lot of Max Girl About Town and it is so so pretty and leaves a really intense stain. I could not get it off my lips. I have a review and demo of 
these kissable balm stains. So if you're interested in seeing them, I will link it down below if you're interested. And I show you what they look like on my lips and applying them. And I just love them so, so much. Moving on to my second favorite lipstick. And these are the new L'Oreal Caress lipsticks. These are absolutely amazing. If I had to pick one drugstore lipstick to wear out of all of these I'm showing you, it would definitely be the formula is what attracts me to these lipsticks. They are so creamy. It's like literally sliding butter across your lips. If you could get butter and put it on your lips, this is what it would be like. It's very similar to the YSL Rouge Volupte lipstick. And when you put these on, it kind of looks like you have a lip gloss on, just not as intense. It leaves a really nice sheen to the lips and it's very glossy and they're extremely pigmented. And once the sheen wears off after a few hours, you're left with a nice stain. So it almost looks like you have a matte lipstick on after. Really, really nice. Really, really cool, I thought, because I didn't know these were supposed to leave a stain. I don't know if they left stains on anyone else. But the colors that I have that are my favorite, well, the only ones I have, um, Sunset Angora, which is the most gorgeous coral pink color. And then Rose Taffeta, which is a plummy mauve color. Gorgeous. My next favorite drugstore products are from Maybelline, and I have two lipsticks from them. This one was from their porcelain collection. It was a limited edition. I'm not sure if you can still get it, but if you can, definitely get your hands on these. They have some gorgeous colors. This one is in Nude Nuances, and is a beautiful nude with pink undertones. So it's not that kind of flesh tone nude that could wash you out. It's a beautiful pinky nude. And I have a Color Sensational lipstick, and this one is in Coral Luster. And this is a gorgeous, very, very glossy, corally color. Another lipstick line that I love are the Kate Moss Rimmel Lipstick. But this one is my favorite, and this is in number 12. It is a really fiery orange-red color. Went to the drugstore one day randomly looking for a color that was kind of like Max Ruby Woo, and I found this. This is a lot more orange than Ruby Woo, a lot more kind of neon, but it is so gorgeous. They smell pretty good. They smell kind of like candy, and they're extremely creamy. Also from Rimmel, I wanted to mention these because they are lip products, are their exaggerated lip pencils. These are fantastic, amazing quality lip liners. My favorite one is East End Snob. I use this in probably every tutorial I've done if I've used a lip liner. It's a mauve rose color, and it's perfect under any any lipstick at all, no matter what the color. It just adds some definition to your lips and evens out your lip color. The other one that I do have is in Innocent, which is a nudie caramel color, which is also really nice, but East End Snob is my favorite. Now my last favorite would have to be the Wet n Wild Matte Lipsticks. These are amazing and super cheap. Now I will warn you, they are really drying, so you need to extremely moisturize your lips before, maybe even add a balm or gloss on top but they're extremely pigmented, come in so many colors, and cheap. Uh, my favorites are 903C, which is just peachy. This is a gorgeous light peach color. And then 901B, which is a pink color. They are so pretty. I love mixing these with other lipsticks, and they're just absolutely gorgeous. Great quality, and I know they came out with a whole new line a few months ago. It's been really hard for me to find them, but they have one that I want. Um, I think it's Don't Blink Pink, and then they have a Dollhouse Pink that are really bright, fun colors. Then they also have nudes and a bunch of reds and orangey reds. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you for watching, and until next time, I will see you later. Bye!